baby live. Harry drops huge Meghan Markle due date clue as Prince cancels plans. Meghan Markle's due date is imminent after Prince Harry cancelled his plans to travel to Amsterdam next week, with rising speculation the royal baby is on its way. Prince Harry has decided to postpone his visit to Amsterdam on May 8 in a shock announcement, as royal watchers believe the Duchess has already given birth. Harry's visit to The Hague on May 9 will be under review depending on whether baby Sussex is born. Buckingham Palace announced the visit just 48 hours ago, but have now cancelled the first day of Harry's TW day trip. Duke of Sussex Royal correspondent Victoria Murphy wrote on Twitter, Buckingham Palace has said that they have decided to postpone the Duke of Sussex's scheduled visit to Amsterdam on Wednesday 8 of May 2019. However, Buckingham Palace claimed the travel amendments were due to logistical challenges. They said in a statement, due to the logistical planning for the traveling press to cover visits and engagements by the royal family, we have taken the decision to postpone the Duke of Sussex's scheduled visit to Amsterdam on Wednesday, May 8, 2019. They say Harry's trip to Amsterdam and The Hague clashes with Prince Charles and Camilla's visit to Berlin, Leipzig and Munich on May 7 to May 11. The Duke of Sussex will now only travel to The Hague on May 9 to launch the Invictus Games. Meghan is now thought to be overdue, as royal fans across the world arrive to Windsor to celebrate the baby's imminent arrival. Buckingham Palace has denied the rumors and has yet to announce the royal baby's birth. Meghan and Harry decided to keep details of the birth a secret, and it is unlikely the Duchess will pose for photos outside her birthing hospital. Buckingham Palace said, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very grateful for the goodwill they have received from people throughout the United Kingdom and around the world as they prepare to welcome their baby. Their Royal Highnesses have taken a personal decision to keep their plans around the arrival of their baby private. 9.30 PM Update, Meghan is calm, comfortable and content, a friend of the Duchess said. Meghan is taking her pregnancy in stride despite being well past her due date. A source told Harper's Bazaar. A friend of the mother-to-be told the magazine, comfortable in content. She's got this. Speaking about Meghan's mother Doria, and husband Prince Harry, the source added, they're in their own bubble at the moment. Meg is with the most important people in her life, she's calm. 8.30 PM Update, Royal Wedding Choir write a lullaby for Meghan and Harry's baby. The Kingdom Choir who performed Stand By Me at Meghan and Harry's wedding in May last year, have written and recorded a bedtime lullaby for the royal baby, according to The Sun. Speaking to the newspaper, the conductor said she hopes, Meghan and Harry, get to hear it. 7.30 PM Update, Ambulance spotted driving past Windsor Castle. Royal fans went into frenzy after an ambulance was seen driving outside Windsor Castle with rising speculation it was heading to Frogmore Cottage for the Duchess' birth. ITV's royal editor Chris Ship tweeted, Ambulance at Windsor Castle hashtag Sussex baby, but it drove past our camera twice, so I'm pretty sure it wasn't for Meghan. 6.30 PM Update, Grace and Diana among favorites for royal baby names. Bookies have predicted Meghan and Harry will name their child Grace or Diana, with joint odds at 6 to 1. Corals Harry Aitken had told Express.co.uk, We're continuing to play the waiting game and everybody is waiting with bated breath for the news to break. It's meaning that bets on the name are racking up and it continues to be Grace and Diana that lead the way as the favorites. 6.00 p.m. Update, Meghan Markle could attend Gabriella's wedding in May. The Duchess of Sussex could make her first public appearance since giving birth at Lady Gabriella's wedding this month. The Queen and other members of the royal family will be attending the royal wedding on May 18, Buckingham Palace confirmed today. Daily Mail's royal correspondent Rebecca English wrote on Twitter, The wedding of Lady Gabriella Windsor and Mr Thomas Kingston will take place at St George's Chapel, Windsor Castle on Saturday 18 May 2019. The wedding will be attended by Her Majesty the Queen, accompanied by members of the royal family. 4.30 p.m. Update, Prince Harry cancels travel plans to Amsterdam. Prince Harry has decided to postpone his visit to Amsterdam on May 8, 
with rising speculations the Duchess is due to give birth. The Royal will travel to The Hague on May 9 as planned, although this subject to review, depending on the birth of baby Sussex. Royal correspondent Victoria Murphy wrote on Twitter, Buckingham Palace has said that they have decided to postpone the Duke of Sussex's scheduled visit to Amsterdam on Wednesday 8 of May 2019. Harry is still scheduled to travel to The Hague on Thursday 9 May for the launch of the Invictus Games The Hague 2020 as planned. 3.30 p.m. Update, Meghan's close friends have said they are heading to London. Meghan Markle's close friend and journalist Gail King is flying to the UK, signalling the birth of the Duchess of Sussex's firstborn is looming. Journalist Gail King, a close friend of Meghan, has announced this morning she is flying across the pond to report on the royal baby's birth. The 64-year-old broadcaster wrote on Instagram, flying to the UK to shoot stuff for prime time royal special. Lots of time to listen to at Rita Wilson new music halfway home. 2.30 p.m. Update, Queen's car with pink blankets spotted arriving at Windsor. The Queen has fueled speculation the royal baby has been born after Her Majesty was reportedly spotted arriving at Windsor Castle in a car with what appears to be pink blankets in the trunk. Motorist Tamarali spotted the monarch Bentley being escorted by a police motorcade through the Berkshire town and immediately suspected it was a sign of the royal baby's birth. The 37-year-old finance worker told The Sun Online, We had got off the M4 and a police motorbike stopped us and asked us to pull to the left. Then we saw a vehicle that had pink paraphernalia at the back of the windscreen go past, it was going very slowly over speed bumps. 1.45 PM Update, Prince William in Westminster as fans desperate for royal baby update. Prince William remained tight-lipped amid growing speculation Meghan Markle is about to give birth, as he attended a service at Westminster Abbey this afternoon. The Duke of Cambridge looked in good spirits as he commemorated 50 years of continuous deterrent by the submarine service. William, 36, who has been Commodore-in-Chief of the fleet since 2006, did not appear to give an update on the royal baby but is conveniently located just one hour away from Windsor should he need to make the dash. 12.20 p.m. Update, Police escorted vehicles spotted near Windsor. Speculation of an imminent royal arrival was has been ramped up after a coach under police escort has been spotted near Windsor Castle. Senior producer and video journalist for Good Morning Britain, Rav Vadgama, posted the video on social media. He wrote on Twitter, hashtag Royal Baby Watch a coach under police escort being led in the direction of Windsor Castle hashtag behind the scenes. 11.20am update, Royal Baby to share birthday with royal family member if born today. Meghan Markle is due to give birth any moment now but if Royal Baby does arrive today it will share a birthday with another member of the royal family. The little tot narrowly missed a clash with Princess Charlotte who turned four yesterday and previously Prince Louis on April 23 and the Queen on April 21. However if Meghan gives birth today the newest addition to the royal household will share a birthday with Princess Eugenie's husband Jack Brooks Bank, who turns 33 years old today. The Duke of York wrote on Twitter to congratulate his son-in-law, wishing Jack Brooks Bank a very happy birthday. 10.40 am, Queen to attend service in Windsor today to remain close to Meghan. The Queen is to remain close to Meghan and Harry today by attending a service in Windsor this afternoon. Her Majesty will be present at a service of the Royal Victorian Order at St. George's Chapel, which is where Meghan, 37 and Harry, 34, got married in May 2018. Earlier this week it is understood the Queen was the first guest at the royal couple's new Frogmore Cottage residence. A royal insider told The Sun, her Majesty wanted to formally welcome the Sussexes to their new home so she was their first visitor. After all, they've practically moved into her back garden. She visited with other family members and Harry and Meghan were delighted to show them round. 10.15m Update, Elton John drops big hint royal baby will arrive today, due any second. Sir Elton John has dropped the biggest hint yet that Meghan Markle will give birth to her first child today. 
The legendary singer-songwriter is a long-term friend to the royals and even performed at the Duke and Duchess of Sussex wedding reception in May last year. On the imminent arrival, Sir Elton told The Sun Online the seventh in line to the throne is due any second. 9.50M Update, Royal Baby Almost Certainly a Baby Girl Bookmakers are convinced the royal baby is a girl after a flurry of punters backed a little princess. According to Patty Power the most likely name is Diana, 3-1, Grace, 7-1, Allegra, 8-1, and Alice, 10-1. The firm said, we've suspended betting on which day Harry and Meghan's baby will arrive following a huge increase in wagers. That, combined with the rumors and speculation has us convinced that the royal arrival has already happened and if the betting is anything to go by, it's almost certainly a baby girl. Selected odds of the name of Meghan and Harry's first child. 3-1 Diana. 7-1 Grace. 10-1 Alice. 12-1 Isabella. 12-1 Arthur. 12-1 Allegra. Dot. 14-1 Victoria. 14-1 Alexandrina. 14-1 Charles. 8.40 M Update, Meghan Markle's father Thomas spotted ahead of royal baby arrival. Meghan Markle's father Thomas Markle has been spotted collecting a takeaway meal in Mexico as the world await the arrival of his grandchild. Mr. Markle was pictured with a meal to go from sushi restaurant Teriyaki in the coastal city of Rosarito. It appears Meghan's father has no plans to make the 5,500-mile journey to the UK for the birth. Meanwhile it is understood Meghan's mother Doria Ragland is already in Britain staying with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in Frogmore Cottage after a dog walker was seen taking her pet for a walk near her property in Los Angeles. 8.24 M Update, Bookmaker suspends betting on the day royal baby is born. Despite palace officials staying silent on Meghan's pregnancy, bookmaker Patty Power insists someone knows something and perhaps the child is already born and have suspended the betting. The firm said in a statement, bookmakers have suspended all bets on the day of birth of baby Sussex, believing that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's child has already arrived. In April Meghan and Harry announced they would keep news around the birth private and confirmed any announcement of a royal arrival will be made once the royals have had time to celebrate privately as a new family.